Don't just want to talk worldwide with some news in the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, there's a little serious thing going on right now in the boxing world. Uh, one of my men from Double Trouble. Y'all remember that? Doom, 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 double Trouble. Doom, 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 double Trouble. Y'all remember that? They're coming for you. You know, they don't need a crew because they're coming with two. You remember? Jamel and Jamal Charlo, the Charlo brothers, who I uh, think should be a lot more famous than they are. They're both undefeated. Both uh, uh, had held titles at the junior uh, middleweight division the bigger brother growing up. These guys are really the goods when it comes to boxing. Well, we seem to have a problem. The younger brother, uh, well, they're both, they're twins, so it ain't no younger one, but a little bit younger, I think he is. Jamel Charlo has been accused of domestic violence, right? And um, it, that's all allegations at this point. So we don't really know what happened, but he's accused of, of choking, you know, his lady his, or his ex-lady. And uh, these things are happening all the time. Right, we're gonna wait. We're not gonna just condemn the man until we find out what what happens. Because what we have heard is that he's waiting for his day in court, because uh, you know, he hasn't done this. So let's see what happens. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show this again. All right, see that? Can y'all see that? All right, that's a book about domestic violence that I wrote. You know, and it says on the front, more hands died, uh, more people died from the hands of a loved one than anything else, right? And it's called slapped. And slapped is sisters' lives are prematurely put in danger, right? And these are the things that go on a lot, man. I need to mention a little bit more because it happens so much because we have a problem in society and all societies, you know, where we're, we're putting our hands on each other. We're killing people, you know what I mean? Constantly, you know, people get killed. It's not just putting your hands on something. Domestic violence is where, you know, it stops, you know, you think, well, it stops if someone getting hit. Right. Not most, most of the time. Sometimes kids are being killed all over the world. Right. All over the world. And what makes me the most about it now, I don't want to go too far about this in this video, because once I start talking about that, I could get passionate. But in some countries, you know, America, you know, things can happen spontaneous. People have guns at home. But that's not how it is all over the world. Some places don't even have guns at home. So people still killing they, their wives. Right. And, and the kids. You know, so that means you had weeks of, to, to form a diabolical plan. Right. And your conscience didn't tell you, hey, homie, that's not the way to go. You know, everybody understand this. Leaving is an option. Right. It's an option. And we forget that a lot of times. You know, so in the book, you know, I say, you know, this is dedicated to all the people all over the world who are experiencing domestic violence. It doesn't matter which form. It's all devastating. Right. Although now you may lack optimism, your plight is not hopeless. There are people on this planet that know and feel that your dilemma is real. We're your brethren, and hopefully help is coming your way. Guys, that's why you're going to have to pick this up now. I'm going to put it in the description box. Y'all hit me off because it's not on, uh, you can't get an e-book e yet. We're working on that right now as we speak. And another thing is this. Um, you just holler at me. My email address will be down there, and I'll send it to you wherever you are in the world. It's $10, right? Check it out. And those ain't coming to me. Don't worry about me. It's about uh, woman shelters. Well, you can't really visit them, but I know a lot about them and what's going on. The women's shelters are full. You know, we shouldn't even have women's shelters, do, should we? But they're full. Two people have to take care of about 100 people in there, right? Kids and people running for their lives, literally. That's what women's shel women shelters are in a so-called civilized uh, world. It's ridiculous. So when you get my book and you turn it over after you see sisters' lives are prematurely put in danger, you're going to read this. I'm glad you turned the book over first. Before you open it up, you have to ask yourself, are you ready for this? Beware, everything you read won't be pretty. If you're easily offended or afraid to have open dialogue with your conscience, then this ain't the book for you. Or oh, I said this isn't, but it ain't the book for you if you can't talk to yourself. Going back, it says, be warned. There's a good chance you might recognize yourself or someone close to you. One thing's for sure, after reading this, you will one day save somebody's life, possibly your own, all right? So that's what I'm saying. You know, this is to prevent. Now, the book I wrote it years ago, because I can remember some of the times when I stopped writing it, and I'll say, hey, man, I'm out like the Golden State Warriors, right? Like when they wasn't good. So that tells you how long ago it's been written, right? Now, you know, things like that, you do things like that. I'm not an author, basically, right? 
That's just something that you know you can help with. Domestic violence is something that we can get rid of or definitely put a dent into. We don't need to be doing that, right? Remember, leaving is an option. Remember, the screening process, right? Everybody's nice when they're on vacation. <laughs> I was even a rap idea about that. Everybody's nice then, right? You have the screening process process for men and women. The character have to come into it. You have to uh, understand people are different when they're in stress situations, okay? They just are, and you don't know how far you go. I wrote in one of my chapters called The Flip Side of These Things. The flip side, I was talking about, hey, women, keep your hands to yourself. Can't keep hitting on the man because you don't know. He'll probably take something forever, and then all of a sudden, he, he just freaks out and wakes up in a puddle of blood. You don't know. So what everybody keep your hands off each other, talk to each other, right? And, you know, leave. It's an option. And sometimes you don't leave for a day or two or hours, right? Calm down and remember how much you do love and appreciate that other person. And everything's not going to be perfect. There's going to be relationships where you have done everything co correctly. And that person leaves you, especially a man. You've done everything correctly. You do everything. You, you, you support her. You, you know, you, you financially, you're doing all the things you think you need to do, right? Everything's perfect. You're treating her perfect, and she still won't leave you, right? And then you're upset. Why could you do that, right? Because it's her damn choice. That's how. And she has a choice. Or he has a choice. Nobody is, has to stay with anybody. That's the, uh, the truth of the matter, right? So we, just, we can try our best, but if it's still not enough, then it's not enough. No one has to die. Definitely not no kids because of something that two uh, adults can't, you know, seem to sort out. So that's the thing. Now, let's go on back up to Jamel Charlo. Man, you know, I wish him the best. I hope that these things, allegations aren't true. I like those Charlie Bunches stay in the mix because of what's going on in boxing. But let me tell you something. When you have domestic violence issues that are serious, right, serious enough for a lazy dude like me to sit down and write 300 pages about. Because let me tell you something. It happens every day all over this planet. And that's something. We got enough tr other problems. That one we don't need to have. So let's see what happens going forward with Jamal, Jamal Charlo. Uh, link will be in the description so you guys can know where you can holler at me on email and I'll send you a book all over the world. Let's do something about this. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.